Hello, welcome to the next session of this course, System Value Verification, Learning More Trustman Constructs. In this session, you will be learning about sequential and parallel blocks. A block statement is a mean of grouping a number of statements together so that they looks correct syntactically uh, to the language. So you know a statement is an executable line which is ending with a semicolon. Most of the statements in system will be ending with a semicolon. And if you wanted to group a number of statements together, you that is called a that is what is called as a block statement. And there are two ways to do that. They are a sequential block or a parallel block. So the sequential block is also called a beginning block, and a parallel block is also called as a fourth join block. The reason is a sequential block is written within a beginning keyword and a parallel block is written within a fork join keyword. So in order to write a sequential block, you have to group a number of statements within uh, within a begin and end keyword. And the difference between these two are, this in, in case of sequential statement, the statements will be executed in sequence one after another of course. And the delay values in each, each statement will be com computed in such a way that um, it is relative to the previous statement in that sequential block. And also the control will come out of this block only after the very last statement in this uh, sequential block. In case of parallel blocks, which is put under a fork and join uh, set of keywords, the statements within a parallel block will be executed concurrently or parallelly. And also remember that if there is a delay calculation in every statement or in any of the statement, all those delay calculations will be relative to the very beginning of the execution of the block. So there comes the big difference. In case of sequential block, the delay calculations were relative to the previous statement, but in case of a parallel block, it is relative to the starting point of execution of the parallel block. Also, the control will be coming out of this parallel block in three different ways, which we will learn in the coming session. So that is controlled by the behavior, that behavior is controlled by which joint statement you are using, which you will see in short while. Now let's see an example. So here is a sequential block which is written in a begin and end set of keywords. You can see there are four statements and all of them are doing an assignment to the same variable named R, just some different value of uh, hexadecimal 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and 4, 4 and say all of them are uh, proceeded with a hash 20 delay. Therefore after every 20 time units the variable R will be changing its value from 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and 4, 4. Oh, that is in another word it's it will be like in the simulation waveform you will see uh, at 20 time units the r will be equal to 1 1 at 40 will be uh, 2 2 at, at 60 it will be 3 3 and at uh, 80 time units it will be equal to 4 4. Now if you are writing the same set of statement in a parallel block which is again generating the same waveform it will be looking like this so it will be written in a fork join but notice the difference in the time unit. So uh, the first one, first assignment is made after 20 time units. The second assignment is made after 40 units. Third in, after 60 and the last one after 80 units. The reason is in case of a parallel fork join block, all the statements, the execution of all statements within this uh, fork join will be started immediately or at the very same point when the fork join is evaluated. So therefore, if you are uh, if you are writing the same set of statement here again within a parallel block uh, uh, at at the twenty twentieth time unit, all these values will be immediately changing. So in order to avoid that, you need to appropriately change the delay, yes, keeping in mind that every statement is starting its execution at the same point in time. Also, since all of them are starting executing at the same point in time. There is no relevance for the, for the order in order of the statements within the fork join. So this, uh, if you are putting this very last statement at the very beginning, it will also produce the same waveforms as as it as in the case of this previous uh, example.